I was really young. And I remember at that time, in the 1980s, I heard the gunshots, the exchange between the Khmer Rouge soldiers and government soldiers. Because at that time, Cambodian was occupied by Vietnamese soldiers. And we, we had no idea what's going on. And at that time, you could, you could not find the independent news or media because the government controls all the news and media. So it, it is important that somebody have to report on the truthful information to people so that they have, they have idea what's going on around them, what's going on in the country. I've been received so many threats. One of those from a lawyer of a wife of a minister who is threatening to file a large defamation lawsuit against me if I keep reporting on the land grabbing issue. In the second one, I have been told to watch my back because I was reporting the story of a guy that is a relative to a high ranking official. So every now and then I always get the tip or some, some kind of information from my Cambodian journalist colleagues who work for other newspaper and media who wanted the story, who want the story to be published and they could not, they could not do it. So they, they, they give me the idea, so I'm the one who write the story. I'm kind of lucky to have those kind of stories. But at the same time, I feel kind of sad because I, I alone cannot all do all those jobs. I need all those journalists to write a story together in order to help the country. The major and the reported issue in Cambodia today is corruption. We lost a lot of money that could help improve infrastructure of the country, especially education. We only spend like 9% of the budget, national budget for the education we expect. Another potentially underreported issue is raping. There's a lot of cash were dropped because of compensation outside the court, because of the traditional pressure. Some some women and girls say they think that it's not it's not proper to reveal all these kind of problems. Those women and girls were raped by fathers, uncles, in laws, sometimes the neighbors. This is a really bad issue in Cambodia, which is still happening and which is a major concern. Most of the time, the, the male journalists that work for the local and other media, they always teasing me, they ask me like, what are you doing? Why are you here? You're supposed to be at home. Why are you still single? Why are you not married? This kind of questions <laughs> annoy me so much, but I was like, I don't care as long as I do my good job, that's it. I don't care about them. I just want the, the news information to be published. That's all. I, I did notice like um, in Cambodia we still have short short amount of journalists. I've been meeting my colleagues from the neighboring countries, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam. They have a lot of female journalists except Cambodia.